So, I know I'm just working at Walmart. It may not be in a great profession. I'm not in um, the education field where I probably should be and, and all these other great things. But after going through uh, just, the, just a little bit of the storm on my own and um, being in this place, it feels so great. God is so great. When I go to work at Walmart, I feel like I'm going on um, a blue collar job. I feel like <laughs> those people you see on TV walking with the briefcases and the suits, it makes me feel like I'm somebody. After being out here and experiencing being homelessness, people look down on you. They talk about you. I've had people move away from me. And I didn't even look homeless. I just had a backpack on. So after experiencing all that, it can make you feel like you're nothing, although you know you're somebody because you know you're a child of God and you know that all of God's children, even if they are a bum on the street, they're still somebody because you were creating God's image. And we were wonderfully and fearfully made. However, it can be um, discouraging. It can make you feel like you're nothing after, after watching how people treat you because of your circumstance, not realizing they could be in the same shoes, not realizing that their husband could leave them and they could be homeless or they can lose their job in a minute or that this can happen to them, not realizing that because they put this barrier there like, oh, I'm someone and you're nothing because you're homeless. Like, why would you be homeless unless you were nothing or unless you did nothing or unless you're a bum or unless you're just waiting for a handout? They put everybody in the same category and even if they are a bum and waiting for a handout, they're still somebody. So after experiencing people looking down on me, moving away, acting ugly, acting, I mean, one lady didn't even want to get on the elevator with me, um, I was just going up to Starbucks to warm up some pizza pockets, and I didn't even want to get on the elevator, it made me feel uncomfortable, so I just, I just, like, stepped away from her, because she was like, I'm, like, I'm contaminated or something, so my point is, after experiencing all these different things, just working at Walmart makes me feel like I am like, I am doing something. Like, I am somebody. Like, I am working that blue-collar job in New York on 34th Street or whatever it's called. You know, it makes you feel good, uh, especially because I was used to being in college. I was used to my mom taking care of me, and I wasn't spoiled, but I didn't know how to take care of myself. I just didn't. And a lot of people understand that because they're like, you're 26. But you have to understand, though I'm 26, I'm still very much like a child in many ways. I'm old school holding this, old school Pentecostal. I'm just used to being under my mom's roof. Very old school, old school, old school Pentecostal. That's the only way I can sum it up. Old school, old school Pentecostal girl. Don't know how to drive. Never had a boyfriend. Never dated. All this stuff. So when you put all that into perspective, it's not hard to understand when my mom died and no one was there. Because I even told my mama when she'd be sick, I'd be like, Mama, don't be trying to die. Now, who's going to take care of me when you leave? I even told her, you know, I'd play with her, not thinking she's going to die. Because I was like, my mama is favored. You know, God's going to keep her. Favor is deceitful because he still took her. But I'd rather God take me and I go with him than he take me and I'm not with him. But she's with him. So, but anyway, my point is, um, so so I'm experiencing a point in my life when I never had before. I'm learning to take care of myself. I'm making money, starting a little bit because they start you off part-time. Some shifts are full-time. Like I got a 9 to 5 today, 9 to 5 tomorrow. Some are 9 to 2. Some are 6 hours. Some are 8. So, you know, it's part-time. But they watch you and it goes from there. But God has me no matter what. Uh, no matter where I go, it's always someone looking. It seems like always somebody out to do this or do that. And it's like, oh, Lord, I worry, are they going to let me go because this, because of that, even though I'm doing a good job. But it's like I just put it all in God's hands, and I enjoy my job. I know that God is with me no matter what, and he's going to bring me out. Um, but during this phase in my life, it's kind of like I was an orphan, like a six-year-old orphan when my mom died, even though I was 26, because I was still very much like a child, like a little girl. But I grew up, whereas I'm not where I used to be when I was 20. If this would have happened when I was 20, I'd be so lost, so stuck down there uh, at the shelter waiting for something that... I just can't stay in an environment that's not productive to me. So having this job at Walmart, though I'm not in my career where I should be, though I may not be where I should be, it makes me feel so good. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. It makes me feel like I'm somebody because, like I said, after experiencing all of this, it can make you feel like, like this, even though you know you're not um, you know better, you know you're a child of God, you know you're somebody, but just the way people respond to you because of your situation, you don't even have to look homeless, they just can, I don't know, they just treat you like crap, 
<clears throat> so just being here makes me feel like I'm, I'm at a start. I'm doing something I've never done. I'm learning how to take care of myself. I'm learning how to start my way from saving and building to make a, a life for myself with the help of God. With the only being led by God. But I say all that to say, y'all, I feel blessed. No matter what, I'm still encouraged in God because people don't call shots on my future. Man doesn't hold my future. They don't hold my destiny. God does. And they can only do what God allows them to do. So even though it may not be his will for them to do it, they can only do what he allows them to do, what what he allows to go through. So, but anyway... Working it, I want to show a clip. This is I want to show a clip of me walking in Walmart with my little outfit, <laughs> but it's really like me walking with a suit and and feeling real good. And you know how you see those glimpses of those people in the New York walking to those blue collar jobs, making all that, and they be walking. And that's how I feel, y'all. When I when I'm working here, that's I feel real good. I work in the toy department. They moved me um also to the was the school supply and I'm stacking up all the notebooks and all that because of that you know I'm doing all that and it keeps me so busy and it just um it keeps me on my feet and it's good to work it's good to work right now um my mom always said if you're not gonna be in school you gotta work but my thing was always to be in school and finish my degree but but life happens and so what can we do but pick up the pieces and let God fix the puzzle but sometimes we have to maybe take some do some you know do things the right way but we may have to you know, do something, we may get off track somehow, we didn't try to, you know, I didn't call homelessness, I didn't call this and didn't call that, but we may have to experience some things, we may have to go through some stuff we didn't want to go through in order for God to get the glory, or just because life is life, when Adam ate the apple, struggle and everything else came in there, so, um, but I'm just saying, having this job at Walmart, y'all, it makes me feel good, I know I'm not where I need to be, but it makes me feel like I'm somebody, like I'm doing something, it keeps me on my feet, it keeps me busy, I bought me some new comfortable shoes today, let me show you guys my shoes, of course, I'm at the airport, <laughs> the longest I've ever been anywhere without getting kicked out, these are called memory foam cool waves, Oh my goodness, they're so comfortable. And I can move, I can stand, I can collect the toys, I can um, fix everything, I can make everything neat and nice, and my feet don't hurt. And I'm busy, busy, busy. And I'd rather be busy making money right now, getting myself to somewhere, every little bit adds up, at least working to where I need to be, than just doing nothing, than sitting around feeling sorry, waiting for somebody to give me housing, or waiting for this and waiting for that, when I don't know when that's going to come. I'd rather take those steps of faith, I'd rather take stuff and let God see me doing and he'll do the rest and so I just got on here to say I feel like those people with the suitcases and that's walking like dun, 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 dun. I feel good and I feel blessed and no matter what I'm going to stay that way because like I said man doesn't call the shots God does God is in control and can nothing happen unless he allows it even if it's not in his will unless he allows it but I am within his will. He does control my destiny. And I got on here just to give y'all another update that I feel blessed. Yes, I'm still rocking the kizzy do. I plan to give me some Singalese twist when I get enough money and then uh, let my hair grow out. Because as you know, I'm going natural again. See my little waves. I don't even have no oil on them. My waves are showing. You see my waves. Got them waves. Got them waves. My hair is very thick. But you can still see my natural hair coming in. You see waves. You can see it. Um, that's what I like about being natural. You get to twist it and like stretch it, but then I miss like dead straightening it and putting the oil on it and wearing it like Lucy or curling it. I don't know, you know, all that stuff. But uh, so it's like a back and forth. But anyway, I feel good. God is great. I feel blessed. Um, I, I, I'm working towards Him. And then I just wanted to let y'all know that after going through what I went through, after going through, and I'm still coming out, but I'm coming out. I'm out in Jesus' name. I'm just speaking it. It feels good even to be at Walmart. It, it may not be, you know, as, as professional as, as some people's, and it's coming. It don't mean it's not coming. But it ain't nothing wrong with to all y'all that's professional. Congratulations. Uh, but it feels good for me because I know I'm getting there. It just feels so good after just being, you know, at a shelter, being around nothing, just sitting there, getting online, looking at houses, just being in an environment, people talking crazy and cussing. And, 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 and not, it's not always crazy, but it, after just being doing nothing, it feels good to be doing something and trying to be constructive with yourself and at least staying busy while God is organizing the rest. So y'all just know that I'm blessed. Keep me in your prayers. 
Um, I'm going to make God proud. I'm going to continue to be that woman of God he called me to be. And I'm going to carry on my mother's name well. And I'm going to finish college. I'm going to get my degree, like I always say in Jesus' name. With the help of the good Lord, I'm working to get me a place. I found me a nice apartment, 790. 790, decent, nice area. Matter of fact, it's like the suburbs. And it includes all the bills. The only thing I'll be paying is the electricity. And so that's what I'm working towards. And um, I'm feeling good. That's right. Nothing wrong with <laughs> Walmart keeps me busy. I love my job. It, it feels so good while I'm working to get to where I need to be. I'm taking those steps that I've, I've never taken care of myself. I never even thought I would have to do this. Never thought I'd be here without my mom. This is big. I literally am like a six-year-old orphan. And I even when my mom was here, I'd be like, but mom, I'm a little girl. She's like, you're not a little girl. You're grown. I'm like, but I feel like a little girl because I'm like, I'm just so much of a mommy's girl. Mommy was always there. I, even when I was grown, I still sleep with my mom. I still lay my head on my mom I was always with my mom like literally mommy was my mommy bear I was always under my mom no matter who wasn't there mommy was always there and my mom was a great mom because she was so loving so encouraging she was truly saved as you all know she was saved in church and out out of church she repped holiness or hell she repped the grace of God she repped being genuine she repped being encouraged she encouraged saints to come to, she encouraged saints in the youth to stay in Christ sinners to come to Christ to get married to do right she was always encouraging people telling them the Acts 2 and 38 the doctrine of, of getting baptized in Jesus name filled with the Holy Ghost she was just that loving and encouraging and and, and and even in her moments where she get annoyed mommy was funny but she was a loving beautiful woman of god beloved of god so i miss that but i'm learning how to be here without her and to make it without her and to start a new life and this is my beginning and i like my job at walmart <laughs> it's the beginning to whatever else is there and 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 only god knows but I speak greatness. I know he has greatness. I know his plans for me are great, just like Jeremiah 29, 11, that I may prosper. And so I just let y'all, just want to let y'all know that even though, you know, it's just Walmart, I feel good. You know what I'm saying? It makes me feel good to be doing something. So I'm working towards success. I'm blessed. Pray for me and I'll pray for y'all. And uh, just that's it. Little update. Bye-bye. Good night. God bless all of you. Thank you, Sister Tanisha, for the encouragement and everybody else. Thank you, Sister... Tashia, thank you all. Um, God bless y'all. Praise the Lord. Hello, Sister Tasha. Hello, uh, Brother Parker. This is Minister Parker. Praise the Lord, saints, and everybody watching. God bless y'all. Zakira is taking those steps of becoming a young woman. And these are steps that I've never taken before because I've never taken care of myself. I was like, I am waiting on my husband. I obviously I'm a I'm a what I'm a housewife. I'm just going through something. I'm just gonna wait on that blessing to fall out the sky. And then I realized I need to get a job. Although I don't want to. And I wanted to work, but it just feel like every time I tried to work, stuff wouldn't go right. The enemy would act up. But I realized I can't make no excuses. I just gotta get out there and do it. So I'm doing it. God bless. Good night to you all too. Good night. That's the end of it. Bye-bye. Be blessed. God bless.